my god. Lisa, uh, are you getting this on camera? That this tornado just came and erased the Hollywood sign. Imagine this. You're minding your own business, enjoying a sunny day, when suddenly you hear those dreaded words. Tornado warning. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's the big deal? It's just a little wind, right? Well, not exactly. We're talking about winds that can reach up to 300 miles per hour, cars flying like confetti, and houses getting blown away like a deck of cards. So, you can imagine what's going to happen to you, right? So, here's the million dollar question. How are you planning on coming out in one piece? Well, in today's episode, we're going to discuss just that. Now, jokes aside, tornadoes are nothing to mess with. In fact, did you know that the United States alone experiences around 1,300 tornadoes per year? That's right, these swirling monsters can strike at any time and anywhere, leaving a path of destruction in their wake. But what exactly causes tornadoes? And when and where are they likely to happen? You see, tornadoes are born from powerful thunderstorms that collide with different air masses. When warm, moist air clashes with cool, dry air, it sets off a chain reaction that can result in a tornado forming. And once a tornado is unleashed, it can wreak havoc with its mighty winds that can reach speeds of 186 to 248 miles per hour. Just imagine flying through the air along with cars, houses, glass, rocks, stones, and wood. That's a wild ride. But that's not all. Tornadoes can be downright bone chilling. The temperature inside a tornado can drop by a whopping 15 to 20 degrees compared to the outside. So not only are you battling the fierce winds, but you're also facing freezing temperatures. Burr. And if you manage to survive inside a tornado for a few minutes, be prepared to feel the effects of oxygen deprivation. The wind speeds are so intense that the air gets thin, making it hard to breathe. It's like trying to catch your breath in a wind tunnel. Not exactly a walk in the park, huh? In fact, statistics show that a whopping 91% of people who encounter tornadoes end up either being severely injured or losing their lives. And that's a sobering fact that reminds us just how dangerous these natural disasters can be. But let's not stay here in the doom and gloom. After all, we're here to tell a story, right? So let's dive into some real stuff that could help you come out in one piece. Now visualize this. You're going about your day when suddenly, tornado sirens blare. Panic sets in as you realize that you're in the path of a raging tornado. You scramble to find shelter, but it's too late. The tornado touches down and you're caught in its grip. The wind whips around you, debris flies through the air, and you're in a full-blown, adrenaline-fueled fight for survival. It's like a scene straight out of an action movie, but this time, you're the star. But wait, it gets even more intense. If you manage to survive the ferocity of the tornado, you might find yourself at the top of the funnel when it ends. And when that happens, get ready for a free fall from whatever height you're at. Now, that's a heart-stopping moment as you plummet towards the ground, hoping and praying that you'll land safely. That'll be an adrenaline rush like no other. Now, you might be wondering, is there anything you can do to prevent finding yourself in such a throwing situation? You see, when you hear the tornado siren go off, the best course of action is to create a safety plan for you and your family. Identify the safest location in your home or workplace and practice getting there quickly. That can be a basement or an underground tunnel if possible. If that's not an option, get as far away from the tornado's path as the dark clouds swirling ominously in the distance. Panic will obviously set in, but just stay somewhere underground. Next, stay informed. Stay tuned to local weather forecasts and tornado warnings. Have a reliable source of weather information such as a weather radio or trusted weather app on your smartphone and be prepared to take action if a tornado warning is issued. And if you're some daring camera guy, it might be tempting to grab your camera and start trying to capture the perfect Instagram-worthy tornado selfie. Let me tell you guys, that's definitely not the best idea. Tornadoes are extremely dangerous and can cause widespread destruction within seconds. So if you find yourself in the path of a tornado, the best course of action is to take it seriously and prioritize your safety above all else. Or else you might find yourself at the height of those dark clouds. So as we were speaking, the most ideal option is to seek shelter in a basement or an underground tunnel. These are the safest places to be during a tornado, as they provide a sturdy barrier against powerful winds that can reach speeds of 186 to 248 miles per hour. Plus, being underground means you're less likely to get hit by flying debris, which can become lethal projectiles in a tornado's fury. But let's say you don't have access to a basement or an underground tunnel. What do you do then? Well, the key is to get as far away from the tornado's path as possible. If you're in a building, head to the lowest level away from windows. Now, if you're caught outside with nowhere to go, do not seek shelter under a bridge or an overpass. Contrary to popular Hollywood ideas, these are not safe options, as they can actually create a wind tunnel effect and make winds even stronger. Instead, try to find a low-lying area, such as a ditch, and lie flat, covering your head with your hands to protect against flying objects. Got it? Alright, now let's talk about what could happen if you, unfortunately, get caught in a tornado. Now, these will most likely be the final visuals you're going to be getting. Imagine this, the winds are roaring around you, debris is flying everywhere, and you're being tossed around like a ragdoll. It's a terrifying experience, and the chances of survival are slim. In fact, according to statistics, 
A whopping 91% of people who encounter tornadoes are either killed or severely injured. But let's dig a little bit more deeper. You see, as the winds rage, you could be hurtled at breakneck speeds along with cars, houses, glass, rocks, wood, and other debris. It's like a scene straight out of a disaster movie, except it's all too real. The force of the wind can cause serious injury or even be fatal. And there's something that we mentioned in the beginning, the temperature inside a tornado can be 15 to 20 degrees lower than the outside temperature. So it can get bone chillingly cold inside a tornado. So not only are you dealing with the violent winds, but you're also facing extreme cold, which can pose a serious threat. Also, the lack of oxygen inside tornadoes due to the speed of the wind can also be a major concern. If you're caught in a tornado for more than a few minutes, you could start to feel lightheaded and pass out. It's a race against time to find a way out and to get to safety before it's too late. And let's not forget about what happens when a tornado finally ends. If you're lucky enough to survive all of these, you could find yourself at the top of the tornado when it dissipates. And when that happens, it's a free fall from whatever height you're at. It's like a roller coaster ride from hell, with no safety harness or brakes. Thinking it's over? Well, not exactly. Even after the tornado has passed, the danger may not be over. There could be downed power lines, gas leaks, and other hazards that pose a risk to your safety. So it's important to remain cautious and follow instructions from local authorities, emergency personnel, and weather alerts. Anyways, I guess you've learned a thing or two about what to do if you ever find yourself caught in the middle of a twister. But hey, even with all the preparedness, sometimes Mother Nature has her own plans. If you ever do find yourself face to face with a tornado, just remember to hold on tight and keep your sense of humor intact. After all, who knew swirling winds could make for such a wild ride, right? So stay safe and stay tuned for more exciting what ifs. We'll catch you in the next episode.